South Africa's city centres are plastered with warnings and their streets deserted. In contrast, confinement is less respected in the townships where law enforcement officers are now everywhere. They must stay inside. They must stay inside to prevent corona from spreading. Hey. Go inside, inside the house. To, to us, it's very difficult because our toilet is at the back there. So how are we going to the toilet? As soon as the police leave, life goes back to normal. Lucas lives in a three-room home with his family of six, and it's difficult for him to stay inside all day because, like for many others, 21 days in confinement is 21 days without income, and poverty trumps any fear of the virus. People spend like six hours without water at the tap that, sh that shuts off because services aren't up to par. But now, during this, if that tap runs dry, when services are already dying out and everything, it's going to cause people to go berserk. 3,000 soldiers have been mobilised to help the police. Forcing people to stay inside is now the government's first priority. The Premier of the Western Cape is worried. We don't want confrontation, and especially when people with power, meaning military, start um, you know, abusing power. We can't have that either. Uh, we come from a history which had that, uh, that kind of face-off between military, specifically military and lockdown. So this must be something that also you know, says to people in our country, it's uncomfortable, it really is uncomfortable. Nonetheless, there is pressure to act quickly, with South Africa recording more cases of infection than anywhere else on the continent. Well, it's now the turn of Africa's largest city to deal with the rigours of lockdown. Two weeks of closures began in Lagos this week. Most of the country's 135 confirmed cases have been in the Nigerian megacity. Its streets and those of the capital, Abuja, have run quiet since Monday night. Nicolas Schumer has more. Never has the megacity of Lagos been so quiet. It is famous for its vibrant atmosphere and its traffic jams. But on the first day of the two-week lockdown, it was unrecognisable. More than 100 cases of coronavirus have been reported in Nigeria, most of them in Lagos. In some districts, environmental officers disinfected the streets. The purpose is to exterminate COVID-19 virus. That is what we are doing. We are moving from one street to the other, motor park, schools, market. We are going everywhere today and the exercise continues. Some Nigerians have criticised the government's lockdown. They stress that many here live hand to mouth and cannot buy food to last two weeks. But others supported President Muhammadu Buhari's decision. Anybody that comes into the shop or the pharmacy to buy something, you don't know if that person is affected. Nobody you know because it's not written on the face. So that is why I'm happy it's locked. I'm happy people obey the law. The federal government in Abuja said it had begun cash transfers to Nigeria's poorest households to sustain them through the crisis. One unexpected consequence of the lockdown is that young people decided to play football on what is usually a very busy motorway. 